checkers, you said nobody should canvas for votes. Vote. And they started crying. That was emotional blackmail. <sighs> Why were you crying? It's because so you want people to understand, oh, you're so emotional. Oh, you're this. Oh, you're that. Good morning, guys. My name is Shooks, and this is Powerhouse of Positivity. If you are yet to become a member of this community, all you need to do is watch this video till the end. Drop your comment down below in the comment section. Like this video, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified whenever I drop a new video. So let's talk about why we are here. I get that everybody have their own opinion about everything. And inside Big Brother House, you want to always be in the picture. You want to always give people reason to talk about you. But calling someone out for doing calling someone out and at the end of the day doing exactly the same thing that you are calling that person out that is being a hypocrite why am i saying this yesterday big brother called his housemates or these partners one after the other for those that went through their diary session yesterday and uh, one of the diary room session that caught my attention was that of forage and during that diary session, they, uh, they were talking to Big Brother and they started talking about what transpired between Onyeka of the Checkers and the housemates on Sunday when the life eviction show was happening. And they complained about how Onyeka used her tears to kind of uh, blackmail the housemaid into not voting her. And I get it. Because uh, on Sunday when that happened, I'm like, wow, Onyeka is a smart girl. Onyeka is so smart because if you understand, if you understood what happened on Sunday, you would know that Onyeka is playing the game because the team of this season is no lose guard. So, in a split of seconds, if you lose guard, you might see yourself on stage with Ebuka. So, Onyeka understood that. And the first day that this housemate came into the house, Big Brother had given them a talk, a pep talk on how to live in the big brother house follow my rules do whatever you feel like you need to do to win if you want to cry cry if you want to sleep sleep if you feel like cooking is your strategy cook but whatever it is you need to do to come out victorious on the 71st day do it so now onyeka noticed okay i'm in the bottom four and this housemate had the power or have the power to decide if I'm staying here or if I'm leaving. Now, what do I need to do? Blackmail them. Use my emotional blackmail. Because I made the video, guys. Go watch that video. Where I said Onyeka was using Charles Xavier's brain, my, uh, brain game on this housemate. And this housemate are buying it. They are buying it. Onyeka is, is that type of person that has bonded with almost all the housemates in that house. So, when she saw that, okay, me bonding with this housemate, maybe the viewers are not enjoying it. Let me brainwash the people that are here right now. Let me brainwash, let me, let, let me blackmail them into accepting me. And she cried. Immediately she cried. And almost all the housemates that were not up for eviction on Sunday went to her, started hugging her, started coming out. Oh, don't cry, don't cry. So, for Ruti to come into the diary room, and complain about that and talking about how it is bad on the side of Damilola and uh, Toyo Sen that left home, that went home. I'm like, okay, Ruti, nobody stopped Dami from crying. Big Brother didn't say they shouldn't cry. The only thing Big Brother said is, do not canvas for vote when the voting lines are open. Sundays, voting lines are closed. Sundays, we, the viewers, are not voting anymore. It's the housemates that are voting. And Onyeka didn't open her mouth and say, Hey, guys, please, I don't want to go home. Vote me. No. Oh, please, I don't want to go home. Don't vote me. Please, save me. Onyeka never did that. All she did is use her strategy, call in tears, and let the tears roll. What did the housemate do? The housemate bought it. And they saved her. So, for Ruti to come inside her house and call on, uh, to come into the dining room and call Onyeka out, Saying that Onyeka was a uh, conversing for vote, even when Big Brother told him not to converse for vote, that what Onyeka did was uh, bad, uh, that, 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 that it was bad. And I'm like, Ruti, you're a hypocrite. Because you are accusing Onyeka of doing something that will help her stay in the game. Whereas you, 
that is calling her out is is doing exactly the same thing. There's this saying that I always say that if you mark your own exam sheet, you will pass with flying colors. But if someone else mark it, marks your exam paper, yo, you will fail, woeful. So, Ruti, throughout last week, was kind of in a situation ship with Mayor and one other lady in the house that I don't remember their name. I think it's a uh, Nelly or Anita. In that Anita or Nelly. So now, Ruti, you know that Mayor likes you. But because he talks to the other girls, you are kind of giving him the attitude that, oh, you are using me as your second toy. You are using me if, if, if the number one person you are interested in is not talking to you, then that's when you remember me. Now, Ruti, you've been distancing yourself from this guy. Immediately, he won the custodian challenge. Guys, Ruti has not left Mayor's side since Mayor won the immunity. Throughout yesterday, when all the housemates were sleeping, Ruti and Mayor were, were busy talking. Guys, I'm talking, I'm telling you, I haven't slept since last night because I was listening, I was watching Ruti and Mayor talking. This guy talked, talked till 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 5, 30. South African time. So, why is Ruti complaining about Onyeka canvassing for vote or using emotional blackmail on the housemaid? Whereas, on the other hand, she is doing exactly the same thing with Mayor. Because you distance yourself from this guy. Immediately, he was declared the, the custodian challenge winner. You remembered, oh, this is the person I'm interested in. You decided to be best of bodies. You decided to dumb body. You decide you, you haven't left this guy's side. So what are you planning to achieve by teaming up, always being with him? If not for him to save you, if ever you are you are in the bottom four. So guys, you're listening to Ruti, what Ruti said in the diary room that Onyeka blackmailed the housemate, which in a way it is yes, yes, Onyeka blackmailed the housemate, but it was never against the rule in Big Brother House to cry. Crying was never against the rule. So, was Onyeka smart? Calling tears at that point in time, 100% smart. Did he save her? 100% she's still in the house. So, I don't understand why Ruth or DJ Flo finds it offensive that Onyeka is using different strategies. To stay in the game because at the end of the day you need to outlast you need to outplay you need to outsmart all the 27 housemates in that house for you to be the last person standing and with the way onyeka is going by the time this housemate notices that onyeka has been playing them since the day one that they got inside the house it will be very bad it will be long Onyeka would have secured her, her space. Maybe not maybe not, a, not as a winner, but maybe in the top five. But, the, but this housemaid are just losing guard, buying everything that Onyeka is selling. But guys, let me know, what do you think about what Ruth said in the dining room about Onyeka canvassing for votes when the big brother was giving this housemate the rules on how to vote? Do you feel like Ruti was right? Or do you feel like Onyeka was using strategy just to remain in the game? Let me hear your thought down below in the comment section. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.